Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you a really delicious recipe. Ooey gooey cheesy cauliflower that's rich and creamy. This is honestly a cheese lover's dream. It's a simple no bake recipe and there's no added cream. So let's make this together. Let's quickly take a look at the ingredients. We need 3 cups of medium sized cauliflower florets, 2 cups of whole milk or full fat milk, 2 tablespoons of onion finely chopped, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 2 tablespoons of butter, 2 tablespoons of all purpose flour. 1 tablespoon of spring onion greens or chives, finely chopped 1 fourth teaspoon of powdered black pepper Half a cube or 1 teaspoon of chicken or veggie stock I'm using this really yummy aged cheddar cheese, half a cup for the sauce Half a cup for cheese crisps that are cut into thin slices 1 fourth cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and salt to taste. Okay, let's make these yummy cheese crisps first. Take a microwave safe plate and cover it with a piece of parchment paper. Place thin slices of cheese and heat it in the microwave till they turn nice and brown. This shouldn't take more than one or two minutes. Once they cool for around five minutes, you'll see that they are nice and crisp. These are really yummy. Set these aside. Let's blanch the cauliflower florets next. Take around six cups of water in a pot and bring it to a boil. Add around 1.5 teaspoons of salt, give it a stir and drop the florets in. Place the lid on and let this cook for around five minutes. The florets should be slightly soft by now. Drain off the water completely. Now add 2 tablespoons of oil to a pan and set it on high heat. Now add the florets in. I like to add the florets in one by one rather than pouring it from the strainer because sometimes there's residual water that collects in the strainer and you don't want to add that in. Sprinkle some salt and now stir fry the cauliflower till they brown nicely. This should take around 10 minutes on high heat. Browning the cauliflower makes it really really tasty. You can brown it as much as you like. I think this is good enough. Now you can set them aside. And now it's time to make the delicious cheese sauce. Melt two tablespoons of butter in a pan set on medium heat. Any sauce that starts like this has to be tasty, right? Add the finely chopped onions and stir fry them till they are translucent. This should take a minute or so. Then add the garlic powder in. You can add crushed garlic instead if you like. Add all purpose flour in and stir fry the roux for around two minutes or so it's going to turn into a nice light golden color. Now add the milk in. It's best when the milk is warm or at room temperature at least. Then add it the powdered black pepper. Crush the stock cube with your fingers and add that in. Now add in the cheese. Now start stirring the sauce. You'll see that it's going to start to become nice and thick. This should take like 5 to 6 minutes. But don't make the sauce too thick because the sauce keeps getting thicker as the dish cools down. Okay, so that looks good enough. You can add more salt if you need to and then drop the cauliflower florets in. Coat them really well with the sauce. Once the florets are coated well, at this point if you wish you can cook it a little longer to make the sauce thicker. Now add in the shredded mozzarella cheese. We need the dish to be cheesy and stretchy, right? This sauce is so delicious, I'm telling you. But 
the best is still to come. We need to garnish with our cheese crisps, we almost forgot. So you know when we bake cheesy dishes in the oven, the surface layer of cheese gets nicely brown and crisp? That's hard to do in a skillet or a pan. Therefore, the cheese crisps. Yay! <laughs> Just break it up and sprinkle them all over. If you are enjoying this recipe so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. I post exciting recipes every week. Now garnish with finely chopped spring onion greens or chives. And you know what? I'm going to add more mozzarella cheese because why not? You can never have enough cheese, can you? Powdered Parmesan cheese would be awesome too. Okay, all done. Look at how cheesy and delicious this is. I hope you liked this as much as I did. And if you did, do share it with your friends. Follow me on all these different social media sites. And for written recipes, do visit my blog. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. See you next time.